Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? So here's the other character, the square. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. <laughs> but not actually, not technically graceful, probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Should be a cool one. If I can. Ah, oh, I thought I could make it all the way down without stopping. Okay, this was more like it. I don't. The glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Now here's where you have to constantly switch between the two. Because, um... Uh, Chris, the small square thing... Great, great. Basically... A chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously. This made the whole switch-pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Let me just... I don't think I can get rid of that... Thing. I don't think I can get rid of that. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Ah, no! Why? I should be able to make this. Oh, okay. Eh. There we go. Is this where I have to like rush against time? Oh, thank God. Just stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped oh. the next portal would split them up. No, I can do this. If only Come on. For a few levels. There we go. Oh, oh god. Oh, here come the tough jumping portions, and I keep jumping early. And the tougher portion of Thomas. I just got a random frame drop. Oh god. Don't skip. Please, don't skip. Ah! <laughs> this 
Somebody knew that would happen. Oh god, okay. Oh, the frame skipped. Oh, hello. John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Oh. Alright. So, for you cats, go like that. <laughs> Simple puzzles. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new eyes. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. Well, for a second there, I almost missed it. Or, well, I thought I almost missed it, but luckily I didn't. I don't even know why I brought, um, the green bar, John. I don't know why I brought him all the way back here. I have no idea why I did that. As they fall to their ends, and I'll meet them down here. See an achievement. See it? There it is. There we go. So what you just saw there was an achievement, and be sure to keep on the lookout for those, because I guarantee I missed some, but I won't be able to get all of them because other obstacles will come into play. <laughs> So I believe there are, um, what are there, two, ten? Ten chapters of these? And they get significantly, whoa, get John difficult to keep moments. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Basically, you're just gonna be switching, which is kind of like the tedious portion of this. Uh, mo most of the time, when you're dealing with these two, it's always everyone has a purpose. So, right. Chris is just a fat ass, this fat ass square. <laughs> Give me the 
big one here. Oh, come on. Oh! He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Ah! Didn't make it in time. Come on. One big leap. I really hope I don't mess this up. Oh, okay. Cool. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. Come on. Actually. Damn. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Here they sink it there. So I did miss a few. Oh well. More stuff for me to show off for you guys. And uh, little hints where the, I could find. Oh my god, this Chris is a fat ass. Ugh, stupid square. So Chris is the jealous type, as usual. I don't know why Chris would be the- Ah, no! <laughs> okay, well that works. And finally, Thomas. Ooh! I don't know how many parts are in each chapter. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. again. <sighs> Come on. Actually, no, wait. I think I'm doing this wrong. I believe I'm doing this completely wrong. Yes. Yes, I am. Maybe that's what the dots were for. <clears throat> they were there to extend John's reach to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. <laughs> I felt like a idiot there for a second. 